Do you know another thing? And every man, do you know this thing, my friend? It's stood the blows of a million years and will do so to the end. It screamed aloud by Carrie's lakes as it knelt upon the ground. And it died in cold defiance as they shot it down. It is found in the light of every hope. It knows no bounds nor space. It has risen in red, black and white. It is there in every race. It lies in the hearts of heroes dead. It screams in terror and sighs. It has reached the peak of mountains high. It comes scaring across the skies. It lights the dark of this prison cell. It thunders forth its might. It is that undauntable thought, my friend, the thought that says I'm right. Poor Jonas Comradahy, I want to first of all start by thanking the, national, the Belfast National Graves for inviting me along here to speak today. I have to say it's a great honour and a great privilege to be here. Today is a very important event and I want to commend the National Graves and all those who have been involved in the refurbishment and the rededication of the Republican plant here at Milltown. It is a very fitting tribute to all our Patriot dead and to their families. And I want to pay a particular tribute to those families, which I see many of them around here today, who despite your great sense of loss and the heartache, have always been so dignified and strong down through the years. Belfast has a long, unbroken connection to an involvement in the struggle for Irish freedom and national self-determination. And the comrades and friends who are buried here have, like many others, left their mark in Republican history. We have lost many great people, family members, good friends and comrades, but their legacy lives on and continues to inspire us all. It is important that we ensure they are remembered with pride and that their sacrifice is recognised by reflecting and passing on what we know of the people who are loved and still respected by Republicans in this city and indeed beyond. We have for many years witnessed a deliberate strategy from London and within unionism to demonise Republicans and IRA volunteers who died during the conflict. And it is especially difficult for families to have to listen to attempts to disrespect and try to sully the memory of their loved ones. But they will never succeed in any way to rewrite the history or change the respect and the high esteem and great pride that we have for our Patriot dead. Indeed, that pride is held throughout the world. We are very proud of the brave and courageous men and women, and indeed boys and girls, because some were very, very young, who are buried here in this Republican pot in Milltown and indeed in other Republican plots right across Ireland. They were young men and women and they continue to inspire us and very often they continue to be the very thing that drives us forward to unite and build support for the Republic that they fought so bravely for and so courageously gave their lives for. They were young men and women like hundreds of others who witnessed at first hand the brutality and discrimination inflicted on Nationalists and Republicans by the British military and their political institutions. And they, like many others, became involved in a campaign of resistance against that injustice and that brutality by becoming active volunteers in Ogley Nahern. And much has been hard fought for for down through the years and much has been hard won throughout those years. And we have travelled a long and dark, sometimes dark at times journey that has seen very many of our family, dear family members, our dear friends and comrades, lose their young lives way before their time. But it isn't just about remembering and reflecting on the past. It is also looking to the future, and particularly to the future that we want for all our children and our young people. So when we think of our fallen comrades and friends, we must ensure that their determination and their sacrifice instills in us the responsibility that we have to play our part, whatever part we can play, to build and support a, a, for an Irish unity and for an Ireland of equals that we all want to see for our children and young people. There is still very much more for us to do and today we go forward with the confidence to know we are in the last stages of any partition and creating that new Ireland. That new Ireland with equality and social justice at its core. 
So why we're paying tribute here today to the brave and courageous men and women we are honoring here and their families, let us also remember that every day they walk with us, that every day they inspire us, and let us go forward and play our part in finishing the journey that they began and create that new socialist republic that, they, that will cherish all of our children equally. That new Ireland that they so bravely fought for, they so bravely died for. So we owe it to them to continue in that struggle. Garamina Mayabov. I think it was very emotional. Uh, I looked at the faces of the families and I think it was very difficult for, for families who had gathered here. This plot is a, a sacred place. It isn't a monument. It isn't a, some sort of statue or a memorial. It is gra their graves. And their graves of men and women who fought to free Ireland, to free their country. And they fought for their community. They fought for their families. So it was difficult. But I think we've done it with dignity and I think the families deserve credit. Well, I think it's 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 fair, it's fair enough to say we are on the threshold of ending partition and truly and really honouring the sacrifice of the men and women that we are honouring here today. The only real way that we can do justice to their sacrifice is by uniting this island. The ceremony today was absolutely beautiful and it was fantastic to see so many people. I was very struck by the number of young people that are here carrying on uh, our traditions, carrying on our way of life and I'm very, very struck by, uh, by the, the sense of camaraderie. Uh, it's absolutely marvellous to see the families come together, to see uh, those activists come together and also to see our young people coming up through our movement, honouring our Patriot Dead, remembering and also looking forward with confidence to our future.